five secrets narcissists don't want you to know. There are certain things that they don't want you to know. Although you may see signs that reveal how they think and feel about you, but they may never tell you this directly. Because they don't want you to know. They don't want you to consciously think about how they're treating you. They want you to see it as though there's something wrong with you. As though you're not deserving of their time, effort and energy. But this video will shed some light on what you've been dealing with. It will reveal to you five secrets that they don't want you to know. One, they don't care about you or your life. In their minds, you are inferior. You're beneath them. You're lower in status, quality and ability. You're of little importance. Which is why they will treat you with contempt. They will treat you like you're worthless and beneath their consideration. They won't show any respect for you. Because in their minds they are superior. They're better than you. They're the only ones who are important. They're the only ones who are deserving of anything. Which is why they're so arrogant and entitled. Because they think they're the best thing since sliced bread. They think you owe them a living. They think you're meant to take care of them. Even if they don't do anything to earn it. They expect you to see it as a privilege to be around them. As though they're royalty or a celebrity. Even though they've done nothing to earn that status. They're delusional. They live in a fantasy world that they've created inside their heads. They've created a false self who is meant to be everything that you should desire. But deep down they know it isn't real. They're very insecure. They're always scanning the environment for threats to see if other people are happy or succeeding in some way. And if you are, they have to make you feel less important and proud, or they may even try to sabotage your success, because it invalidates the illusions of their false self. Two, they see you as an object. They may tell you they love you. They may tell you they care about you. But really, the only thing they love and care about is what you can give to them. They see you as an object that exists to serve them. It's not a relationship. It's a transaction. It's an exchange of value. An exchange of money, attention and material possessions. But it's never an equal exchange. Because they will always take more than what they're given to you. Which means that you will be left with the short end of the stick. You will always be left in a worse position and situation after dealing with them. Because they don't see you as a separate person with their own wants, needs, desires, goals and dreams. They see you as an object. They see you as a tool to gain attention, money, power and resources. Which is how it's so easy for them to discard you. Because they never felt a genuine connection with you.
three, they will always blame you. When they first met you, they may have told you you're a nice person. They may have said you were the best thing that happened to them. Because it was new and different. But the entire thing was a setup. It was a scheme and trick to incriminate and deceive you so that they could blame you for everything. Because they must uphold this image that they are faultless, which means that you will always get the blame. When the relationship is finally over, they will discard you and smear you to everyone so that they can convince themselves that you are the problem. Four, they need you more than you need them. Despite what they may have led you to believe, the truth is they actually have nothing of their own. They have no identity. They have no sense of self. They abandoned that a long time ago and created a false character. And this character that they created needs a lot of attention. It needs constant compliments and praise in order to sustain itself. Otherwise it's like torture for them. They will experience agony and pain. And they will begin to hate you. Five. They are very insecure. They act arrogant and superior, as though they're better than everyone. But they're actually very insecure. Deep down they feel irrelevant and insignificant, which is why they need your attention and emotional reactions to feel like they're important. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.